Hello, good evening. Welcome to Wednesday's programme. And first tonight, a man from Leicestershire injured in a horse riding accident says he owes his life to the doctor who carried out pioneering spinal surgery on him. Richard Clutterbuck has ridden for 40 years, but last week he was left with a fractured spine after a car crashed into him and his horse. Surgeons used cement to help save him from paralysis. Richard's been talking to our reporter, Helen Astell. I uh, couldn't breathe, I couldn't swallow, I tried to lie on the back to ease the pain. The pain was absolutely excruciating. Richard Clutterbuck recalls the moment after the accident near Market Harborough. He'd been out riding with his wife when they were hit by a car. His horse, Linford, bore the brunt of the crash and was killed. Richard was thrown to the ground. He was airlifted to the University Hospital in Coventry, where he underwent four hours of major pioneering spinal surgery. Cement was injected into his fractured spine to stabilise it. We had to do an emergency surgery to fix his spine. And what we've done, we've done a, a, a keyhole surgery where we delivered the cement in the fracture to solidify the fracture and to help to relieve the pain. The, this is one of only two hospitals in the country, so they tell me, that could have done this operation. Otherwise, I would have been, uh, I, I'd have had uh, um, uh, an open wound the length of my spine and it would have been three months before I could even think about getting up. Cement in fractures in the spine is a new technique which helps in quick recovery. Back at the couple's stables near Market Harbour, Richard's wife, Gillian, says she's still coming to terms with what's happened. Well, I can't believe it. I mean, I just feel that we're both so, so lucky, you know. Um, what can you say? You might have lost somebody in your half. And... It might be ten or twelve, eight or ten weeks before I can lift a shopping bag, but then after that everything should be all right, so it'll be slow. But then I've got nothing to complain about because I'm the luckiest man alive. Richard is due to leave hospital tomorrow. Although physically he's getting better, he's vowed never to ride again. Helen Astle, East Midlands Today, Coventry.